when they first started coming coming to the UK, which was their main ones, yes, they were attacking uh, places of religion, but not because they believed they were places of religion, but because at this point in time the Christian church was dripping with gold. <laughs> Everything from the cups to... Why would they go and raid someone's home in a country where the, the religious belief was the meek inherited the earth? They're not, not going to have anything in their home. The churches had the wealth. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world. Discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hello, and thank you so much for joining the A Midlife Traveler podcast today. My name's Laura, and I am your host. We are exploring Scotland through hearing the voice and opinions of a Scotsman named James, and also through some of my personal experiences there. And today's episode is a bit of a continuation on the prior episode about Vikings and the discussion about going Viking versus being Viking. But today, what you're going to hear James talk about is about the Norse Vikings again, but a bit more from the perspective of religion. So coming in from Norway, the Norse Vikings really had a a Norse religion that they brought with them, which was multi-god, which was the acceptance of multiple gods And when they arrived in the European areas, Christianity was the predominant religion in some of these areas. And as you're going to hear through James, there is in this story an acceptance and awareness that the Norse had to accept Christianity and to accept another god and a new god because they come from a multi-god background. But what you don't hear in this recording is a discussion that happened right before where he was describing to me about how many of the Norsemen, the Norse Vikings that came, you know, didn't come here to just pillage and leave. They they arrived because they wanted to settle. And many of the Norse people and the Norse Vikings that arrived did settle and the men married local women and they were had children and families and because of that in addition to their Norse belief many of the Vikings ended up requesting and asking and being converted and baptized into the Christian faith because they were told that in the Christian faith there's only one God and that they would not see their wife or their children in Valhalla which Valhalla is their religious belief of where they go after death, in the Norse belief. And instead, that if they wanted to be with their wives and be with their children, they needed to convert to Christianity so they could see them again in heaven. So that's just a really interesting background to this voice and story that you're going to hear, which is a bit about the teachings of the Norse mythology and about what likely could have been their reaction at the time and their acceptance of the Christian faith when they arrived in this new area. So here to tell that story in James's voice, I hope you enjoy it and happy listening. But after Lindisfarne, the the Norse would return to, to all areas of Britain quite quickly, you know, within a matter of years. It's hard to try and have that, that melting point of religions because some religions only want the one to state one God. Whereas, um, I don't think I don't think you know the, the the Vikings really opposed the Christians because they believed in multi gods, so they would never say, "No, our God is correct." They they said, "No, there there are gods." That was the argument. It wasn't the argument saying your religion's wrong or my religion's wrong. The the, the, the Norsemen were saying we can accept because. Interesting. There's multi gods, but but our gods are gods of war, so we don't really. He's a bit weak. We don't like him. He's a bit weak. He just he wants all happiness and stuff. We like to fight, <laughs> but they didn't really deny deny yeah. him. They they were interested. They were intrigued, and they they wanted to learn about the Christian God, um, and seriously, they wanted to know. When they came to Britain, 
and there was pictures of Saint Sebastian with arrows all sticking through his body. But they were like, who is this man and how did he survive? And they said, because the Lord, our God, saved him. The Norse were so interested, a God so powerful that he could save a man filled with arrows. I mean, they were intrigued. They didn't, they didn't want to deny. They wanted to learn. And, 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 and as, as has been written for many people of Norse belief or mythology, Odin, our father, gave his eye for knowledge. He, he hung himself from a tree for 21 days to seek knowledge. He would travel the world to seek knowledge. Odin didn't deny the existence of other gods. So, within the teachings of Norse mythology, neither would the Norse people. You know, they were in very, very interested. And by the time they started raiding into the Moor areas, they were aware of religions. And quite often the men would stop the other men from going into areas that they believed were religious sanctums. Really? No, you can't raid that. They would stop each other. No, no. This will anger all of the gods. So it got... When they first started coming coming to the UK, which was their main ones, yes, they were attacking uh, places of religion, but not because they believed they were places of religion, but because at this point in time the Christian church was dripping with gold. <laughs> Everything from the cups to... Why would they go and raid someone's home in a country where the, the religious belief was the meek inherited the earth? They're not, not going to have anything in their home. The churches had the wealth. They had all the gold. They had all the silver. That's what they were interested in, not, not destroying the, the faith or religion. 